Good day, Collar Crew. Today is Saturday, November 30th, 2024. I'm going to show you a couple things, and uh, it's mainly uh, the stats, which is not seen. They're just solid bars, but the GUI interface is coming up, and the stat interface is here coming up. That shows you things over time. Uh, also, we have inventory. Uh, so you can start to see that the inventory system is coming together. We have three tokens. Imagine that. We have uh, collar, tag, gem. Uh, so we have that. The stat button you see up here actually will not be a big giant button. It will be a smaller button and it's only used when you actually do certain functions. So like this bar here you don't need to see it if you're just walking around and you're not doing a quest. You are just there to do interactions with people and uh, learn things. But when you go into anything that is going to take away your health, then you would actually see that so you would understand what's happening to your character. Uh, so right here I'm just going to show, I'm just going to kick a ball first. And uh, well, that was kind of cool, a ball hit the other ball. Uh, but when I come up to objects, it shows me what the object is, and it gives me a letter E. So if I hit the letter E, it picked it up. If I go to I for inventory, we see that we have this. I can drop it. What we're going to notice is it's floating. I need to fix that. It need, when it places it back down, it needs to know the correct Z axis. So if I hit E again, it picked it up. Go back to inventory, we see it. If I drop it again, we see that it's there again. So I'm going to go pick up a bunch of stuff here. There's a sack and there's a rune of defense. So I'm going to hit E, 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 as many times as it will just grab what it sees and E. Matter of fact, I want that thistle that's in the air and a couple of these as well. Uh, over here we have some ingots. Let me spin around here. We got metal ingots. I'm going to hit take them all. And I also have some health potions that I gotta get a little bit closer. In the case of health uh, potions, I'm going to, I have an enemy that's gonna appear right over here by these health potions on the ground. I'm gonna hit I for inventory, and I've got the rune of defense. But in this case, I want to do a health potion, and I'm gonna use one. And by doing so, if the stats were activated in the upper left hand corner, you would see it increase to be. If you were 60%, you'd be backed up to whatever percentage that that health potion would do. And you'll see a visual representation of those plus symbols and you hear a gug gug glug like you would hear with any video game. I'm going to come over here to these potions and take another step forward and say I want them to. And there's a max number of things you can carry and I'm going to be attacked here soon. Okay. So I'm going to start off by trying to get on the other side of him, come back and do a defense position, and then smack him. Oh, I should say he's level 10, so do not expect me to win. But in this battle itself, I'm going to do a defense back kick. That was too far away to get that combination. Okay, so I'm going to stop battling and just let him beat me up. Um, but what we see here is up in the left hand corner, when stats are connected, every blow would go decrease, decrease, decrease. Of course, you could quickly jump in here and grab a, a potion and say use it and get back in if you were quick enough with your fingers. Um, but keep in mind, uh, Satchel, our character, uh, started out as a paper sketch, which then became an illustration, which then became a 3D model, and then I rigged it up in uh, Blender and brought it in. And over on Blender side, let me see if I can get to it quickly. Where is Blender at? Here's Blender. And this is one of our foes. And these are the bones that are I put inside our foe. And it'll, this is what allows uh, Satchel to move, is by adding bones. And then the bones have uh, attributes kind of thing. So I can come in here to um, hit tab. 
not all my keys are working because I got something else running. So we'll just say this is uh, not x-ray turned on so you can just see what the foe looks like from the outside. If I turn x-ray on you can then see through it and see the bones themselves and in object mode you can see there's a lot of symmetry that happens. So enough of that. If I click back here this uh, foe is going to continue to kick the snot out of satchel. So we're going to come here and show the stats. This is a stats interface that's been built. We just need to hook it up. And the same thing is true for up here. Uh, give you a visual representation. And when you're doing battle against an enemy, you would then start to see this bar go down until you actually defeat or you lose. Now, uh, things that happen in our game are you don't actually die and you just run out of power. And gem is the token that we have that's very abundant and it's for energy and it works both for satchel and for let me uh try to run away a little bit but it's what's used to do the battle as well as power yourself up and you can have health and potions and all these things that will give you energy but they're all based around gem itself so that is the update for today. I uh, showed you picking up objects, an inventory system, the start of the stats, and we actually do have quests. Uh, so I'm going to throw in a few little steps that need to happen before you fight this guy. And soon that guy will actually be one of our foes because it's just a mannequin. That's just a placeholder. Hope you guys have a great day.